Bringing the Farm to Town. Bringing the Farm to Town. Can I, Jim, how you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you. Boy, jeez, you young looking black. Yes, hey? I am. Yeah, I am young. How long before you'll be a hundred? Three years. Three years and you'll be a hundred? Yeah. Gee, that's pretty good. How the hell did you do that? I, I didn't do it. My good Lord did it. <laughs> yeah, well, he chose you. Good on him. Well, listen, we've got a bit of a job here to do now. Well, we'll have a look at this garden of yours. Tell us about it. What have we got down here? Well, to start off, I, I had it in my mind that the children get nothing but uh, uh, destroying and killing and bad thoughts and that. And they get nothing that God wants us to look at. You know, the animals and the... Ordinary things of life have got good value, that's what I wanted the kids to be able to have a look at it. Good on you, Jim. Now, speak up and get quite close to me here because this has got to pick up your voice. Yeah. Now, we're looking at a farm here, aren't we? Yeah. There's a tractor there and there's some horses. And Whose farm is it? Well, this is the son-in-law's farm. Your son-in-law's farm, yes. Of the other farm, you know. Of the other farm, yeah. right. So what you've done is taken some toys yeah. and made them into a, a little 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 farm here. Yes. And this this here there is the what? That's that's, that's the son-in-law's house, which is quite different to the old fa the old grandfather's ha house. You know, stone. Oh, okay. Right. So okay, let's go over here and look at the grandfather's house then. Is it? I see. There's a truck in there. Is that the truck that he had? Yeah. Well, you see. This side is all trucks and, and um, tractors and so forth. Yes. And the, the old grandfather's only got horses and that. He hasn't got any tractors. Oh, right. So th this is the grandfather's yeah. house and there's no tractors. No, right. no, nothing like that. Only horses. Only horses. Right. Okay. And this is the old ha ha house he lived in? Yeah, the old stone house. The stone house? Yes, yeah. He would have built that himself, did he? Yes, or? he built it himself. Did he? Yeah. Isn't that amazing? You see, he's got, even got horses on the plough and yes. horses in the carts. Right. And um, all the old horse implements and that sort of thing. And he's even got a training place there to train his horses himself. Oh, right. I see. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder if we can get a close-up of that. Look at that. Oh, that's where he trains the horses. Yeah. Right? And the main aim was to say that we didn't, they didn't have very much in the old man's time, but boy, they were very contented and they got off their bottoms and made the stuff and did the stuff they wanted. They didn't have the money to buy it, but mm. they did it by hard labour. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, let's come around and look around here. What have we got here? Oh, that's just a... A bit of driftwood I turned into. <laughs> what do you call this? You've got a good imagination. Oh, I hey? Maybe I'm an illusionist. <laughs> <laughs> right, hey, what have we got along here? Yep. Whose is that truck? Well, that's um, some of the old um, trucks when I was a younger man and they start to come out with the old heavy trucks. And... Uh, we used to get very, very excited amongst trucks and all that sort of wanted to be truck drivers and workers like that. Yeah. But you'll notice today, very difficult to get truck drivers of any hard work to do. That's right. Yeah. Well, that's, that was the kind of tip truck that in my day. Oh yeah, in your yeah. day, yeah. yeah. And what year are we talking about in your day? Ooh, about 19... 36 up to the... About 1936? Up, yeah. Yep. And that was the kind of old buses we used to have, you know. Oh, yes. And we thought they were marvellous. Today they wouldn't ride in them, you know. Well, that was a bus. Yeah. Yeah. And that's a wee bit later tip truck that came onto the market with the double wheels in the back, things like that. Oh, that's a little model, yep. Yeah, and I yep. just wanted the kids to appreciate that we uh, we had to work with what we had. Yes. You know. 
that's just the ornaments in the Just backyard. a few ornaments, yes, yeah. yes. In yes. The backyard, yes. Right. There's nothing much there. What's the old windmill for? Well, I'm uh, just in the middle of getting it, making it. I haven't got it finished yet, but I just thought it was something that would turn. A turning thing takes a kiddie's eye and they might see it as they go past, you know. Oh, right. Yeah. And uh, you're moving out, they tell me. You're selling this place? Uh, for, the, for the simple reason that I can't no longer do all the work that's here. Yes. And uh, I've got to make sure that my wife has left what she can handle. Fair enough, yeah. fair enough. Yeah. Funny guy, me. Yeah, funny guy. <laughs> but the Lord's on your side, isn't he? I don't go anywhere without him. You and take I, him around all the time? I don't do a thing unless I share it with the Lord. Is that right? Good or bad. Yeah. <laughs> well, good on you, Jim. I'm very proud of you. And, and your grandchildren and those after you. I hope this video will be seen in years to come, and they'll remember you and your garden on Waiati Road. This is Ron Bishop, Timaru Tourist Promotion, signing off.